Raymond. Raymond, good to meet yes. you. Likewise. So, uh, how awesome is it to, you know, co-produce on something with Ron Howard? Yeah, it's. I mean, like, it's. Uh, it kind of happened by serendipity because I have a friend who works at Ron's company, and she just kind of one day just said, "Hey, you know." Would you like to help on this project? And at that time, I had no idea what it was. I didn't even know it was Ron Howard. And then suddenly, I, you know, was talking to him. But I think, you know, what I liked about Ron is that he's just so real about basically what he wanted to achieve. And you know, what he told me was that, hey, the world is kind of going through a rough period right now. You know, especially with the pandemic and all the things that are happening around the world. Why don't we make a film that is positive and can show that people can come together from all over the world and you know, regardless of you know, race, nationality, religion, to perform something truly miraculous? And I said, okay, I think I understand where you're coming from. Why do you think on this disaster situation with these young kids, I mean, that all 17 countries are chipped in to help? Why? Why, why this? Why did these engineers? Uh, divers, everyone came in to help. Why on? Why do you think? Well, actually, that's a good question because, to be honest, even I was surprised because I was in Thailand when it happened, and like the the, the kind of um, attention it captured around the world. Even for me, I was like kind of like, wow, people cared about this, and it was a little bit strange. But then I kind of understood that people just really, especially when it comes to kids, especially when you know they're in peril, and they, especially if you know that they're alive. There is just something, there's such a vested interest to basically, like, you know, just, you know, as humans, for us to basically, like, try to do our best to rescue them, I guess. But I have to admit, I was kind of shocked as well that it just got so much international attention around the world. So Ron Howard doesn't mess around. So were these, aqua um, like, aquatic tanks in order to recreate the caves? Right. Yeah, they were basically fully rec uh, recreated. Um, some of the most, like, harrowing parts of the caves were recreated. Some of them were holes that were just, like, literally like this. They were like, so small. And we had stunt people, you know, going through them. And they were panicking because they were like, wow, this is just way too tight. And I'm imagining if stunt divers feel that this is really uncomfortable, imagine the real people going in. And that's the kind of details that we wanted to capture, but at the same time, I guess it worked because our stunt divers are also kind of like panicking when they were seeing it, so. Right, in a control situation, they're panicking, right. and in a diving situation with flow of water, right. you know, kind of coming and going, it, you can see how what they were going through realistically. Ex exactly, and I think that um, it is really, a, like I said, a miracle that, you know, they not only managed to get themselves in and out, but they also got the kids in and out, and it's just, yeah. And it, it's a story that I think that a lot of people don't know the details, but when they do know the details, they really will wonder, like, how did that even happen? Yeah. Great talking to you. I can't wait to see it. Perfect. Thank you. Likewise. Take care. Take care.